Lorna is a little girl who, she can't speak. She is full nursing care, but you can know from her eyes, she knows exactly what's going on. Certain things you do, you, like you know you get a reaction of her, which is so lovely because obviously with her being non-verbal, it's really nice to get those kind of, you know, those facial reactions. She's just so happy all the time. She loves being out, she loves, you know, she loves watching TV, she loves listening to music, she's so easily pleased. You know, she's really, really, really lovely to look after. Dursin care in our home has made life easier for us. Uh, knowing that Lauren is looked after by expertise uh, nurses that come in. We always want to have Lorna in the house. We don't want her going off into day centres or anything like that. That's not for us. We never leave Lorna. Lorna's in the house, the nurses come to the house, so we have got the package that we wanted. For a family to take on nurses, it is, it is great because Lorna can get sick any time into the BiPAP mask and like she'd swallow that. So if a nurse is not here, you have a monitor beside you, you're watching her 24-7, but when a nurse comes in, we close the door, we can have our night's sleep, which means an awful lot, you catch up for the week. She was there now today and she just got a seizure just like that, just as we were putting her on her feet, like, and you have to be watching her full time, you cannot turn your back on her because she needs the care. Community care was just far more, fam for me, family kind of orientated and I love the one-on-one -on -one care with the with the clients and that you can actually give your full care to them whereas like acute hospitals are just crazy at the minute and you're just kind of going home feeling you're not fully given what you can. I, I don't feel 100% comfortable with having those girls and Debbie in, in our home. I suppose like I said it is like having an extra sister or an aunt or coming in just chatting away to us during the daytime. It has made an awful difference even with the boys, like will you come out playing football, will you will, will you go upstairs and play a pool, like that's, we hadn't that for years, like we were just minding on ourselves and so it is great, really really happy like. Lorna's recently had quite a huge surgery, which she would have been a, a, a real anaesthetic risk. She had to go on BiPAP a little longer for the number of weeks that she you know, I think a couple of months and she had to come out of school, so she wasn't home all the time. So we negotiated with the HSE and increased her package. Um, and she went in her BiPAP, we introduced nights there as well to try and get her chest in the best possible position for the surgery. And she has a rod from the back of her neck right down her whole spine. Um, and she recovered without any issue and she sailed through it, um, which I was delighted about. Without the nurses, um, it would have been impossible to have kept Lauren at home while after surgery. We could bring her home earlier than expected from hospital as well. Lorna was always prone to chest infections, full time, full time. But now that the nurses are here, they're able to tell us, look, we'll give her Calpol, we'll give her Eurofin. They're on top of it, so we have a thought before it really hits. They're well capable of telling me what to wear with the parents. I know we say we know as much as we know, but the nurses are qualified, so we get on top of it. Lorna doesn't. Lorna used to be in hospital three, four times a year. Now, lucky enough, once I think this year in January she had to go in. Like she went to school, she got a chest infection. That happens. Like, but to have them to be on top of it means an awful lot. Having Lorna like people like she her 24-hour care makes it easier to have nurses come into our house to help us. I don't know what we do without them, to be honest. As I said, they give us so much backup and so much help with Lorna.